about these characters aside from the people that the people and to are be playing. honest i don't think the characters who are the players who are playing the characters even know what they're doing half the time there. that's probably for the most best. of them that's probably, the... literally everyone knows oh hey look, nobody I can, knows hey i got which time what move can i throw down to here let's do up oh it worked <laughs> <laughs> All right. All I know is I got first these sticks. not going to FD. I got, I got these buttons. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Not playing on FD yet. I wonder why they decided to change. Maybe a miscommunication in. Oh, so you had to show up? Yo, I'm bringing people out. All right. <laughs> okay, and we had a color change. All right. Is that what it was? I mean, you know, like, the color, like, put, like it brings the tears. It like, <laughs> like, if you're the wrong color, you're not even in the same tier bracket that you usually Hey, it's that sense of morale you got with your character. Exactly. All right, first game is going to be hard underway. Final Destination. Now, we just saw some last set. Brian and Squirt played amazingly on this stage. Such great team communication, ability to team combo, and such good control of this team. Oh, and we're already seeing right there which time. Whoa, forward smash to up smash. was pretty nasty. Uh, can you explain a little bit about it? Like, I, I feel like you've seen a little bit more of Bayonetta by this point because you've now, been watching this. Like, think about Bayonetta's, uh, it doesn't really influence no matter how much percent they have, or it's on Bayonetta's rage and how high her percent is now. And the more rage she has, the longer which, okay, already losing his stock 80% to a forward smash. Great now, awareness from Brian seeing that he whiffed the down air. Yo, now, these boys are going today. And these boys are ready to play. Oh what my goodness. That? I didn't even now, see it that happen. That was a read on reads, if I ever say so myself. Know that Brian, we saw Brian's, oh, and another force of Bayonetta is his ranking stocks right now. There's no mercy in this character. See, I wish I could tell you what was going on. I <laughs> wish I had any idea what this character yeah. was doing, but all I can tell is she's playing Bayonetta, work right now. Although she has a conservative jumps, arguably one of the strongest recoveries in the game, as it is almost impossible to edge guard this character. Really? With the amount of recovery options she has, the speed of her recovery, it is like... And we're seeing another wish time. We're gonna see our just going oh, from Molly getting that quick cheeky up air on the top. So can you explain what that move does? It's not like a conventional counter. It looks like it just kind of like now what the them. witch time does. It actually it doesn't necessarily freeze them, but it slows them down, such as like a shadow assist trophy and brawl. And oh, what that means is when they're okay. slowed in the state, it is possible to get out if say a multi hit move was countered and that counter hits her. So it will clink with their attacks, therefore not allowing. And we're seeing another witch. Again. Oh, Whoa, see, as, can you explain that? Then? As you see right there, <laughs> what happened there was he witch timed the Nair, causing the Nair, but Nair's a long lasting hitbox. Yeah. Therefore, when he did the forward smash, he clanked with the Nair that was still out there. Because it oh. necessarily doesn't erase the move, so to speak, but it slows it down to the point where it just stays out there. Okay. And Squirt capitalizing on that. Either he was extremely lucky or it was. A, oh, but Brian, 125 on his last off. He's got to play really safe right now. Bayonetta is going to be sharking with up airs. Uh, oh my god, and that counter. Apparently, they don't even have to worry too much about Bayonetta. We yeah. have another player on the field yeah. right now. From oh, yeah. oh, another force. Red team at a slight disadvantage. One stock down. Ooh. Now, for those who don't know, Bayonetta's fourth throw is actually a kill throw, as if this character did not have enough to be <laughs> <laughs> Literally, all I'm hearing is Bayonetta time 101. All I'm hearing is about like all the good things that Bayonetta has to offer, because it seems like this character is just all around I mean, solid. I think we've seen like 20 Bayonettas and 20 streams right now. That makes sense. Already. That makes sense. And already see, you see right there, what a combo. It could have been a double kill. It could have been, but... Oh... All right, this has been looking too good this far. Yeah, Squirk is going to have to hold his own. And oh, Force Smash, that is not going to be it yet. Yeah, this is going to be a rough 2D1 situation for Squirk. As oh, so. At this point, it seems basically unwinnable. Yeah. I mean, I mean if, I was, if I was this guy, I would have just be uh, thinking about my counter pick stage, and that is not going to be it. Corrin, a character who, although it doesn't really get as much spotlight as her counterpart into the DLC, Bayonetta, she is a character not to be slept on. Very powerful kill options, a ton of range. Oh, that, that was almost sick. I did not like that option. I really think he could have just gone for up air, but <laughs> okay. That works. And an exchange on up air is going to be it. That seals up game, game one, one. Going to blue team. That was good stuff. All right, so I need you to just kind of bring me up the speed on it. Like, oh my goodness, that win pose, <laughs> bringing it to the fans. Okay. <laughs> I honestly think half the reason people play this character is that win pose. Ah. What, what, I mean, what's more rewarding Can than seeing that victory exactly. screen? Exactly. Like, that's that's a job well done if I've, if I've ever seen it in you my life. In my life. She's practically giving you a pat on the back. Or whatever. <laughs> She's like, hey, about that victory screen, though. <laughs> you play me well, you see this victory screen more often. <laughs> and all the players are like, yo, 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 no, 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 this is PG-13. <laughs> I mean, let, let's, say that, let, let's say that for the lab, all right? Yeah. That's, that's too much for the fans right now. 
too much for the fans. But okay, um, so which time, uh, like one thing I'm not really understanding, like it doesn't really work as a conventional counter, so do you even need to counter an attack in order for it to initiate the slowdown? Now, uh, it, is, it is the same button as a traditional counter. It is the down yeah, B counter down option. B. And so how it works is there's actually two uh, options that comes out of which time. One, if it's used on time, she will have the slow option, which is extremely punishing, easily able to put over 50% on with that one conversion. Wow. And she does it a little bit late, she will actually teleport out of the hitbox, therefore being safe, taking half percent damage, and it's making it an extremely safe option. Oh, that poor touch. Now, I think the really confusing thing about Bayonetta is her smash attacks and her wish are really similar looking. That huge little circle coming out. Okay. And the color of her moveset, making it really tricky to understand which... Oh, Brian. Brian's going for the up with something slick. Oh, another whip. Oh, misses the. Misses the up. Going to get oh, double up smash. That's though. how much time you have. And another whip. That is but insane to me. And look at that. It's put up so much percent from that one punish. Now, another thing Bayonet has that's really unique is she has the option of holding her move to shoot the bullet arts out. Now, that is. Okay. She practically has two, similar to Ryu's mechanics. She has yeah. two mo moves that come out on one. Okay. And as you see, that little spinning move is actually her upper just extended. Oh, a great spike Ooh. from Squirt. Now, I think enough about Bayonetta. Red team is holding <laughs> in their own. They're holding their own well, this time. Let's dogs. actually talk about what's actually happening right now. Oh, slightly. Another force fight. That's going to be it. And Bayonetta for post up. Up. So never mind. Let's go back to oh, Bayonetta. Squirk is on his last off. What? What happened to him? I don't know. He is on his last. Oh, great rest. Sleeping right. on the competition. Brian YDG hitting him with that sneaky sleepy. He's living it pretty hard and he wants to bring the combat. Living that thug, He's going to have to do mean? some kind of miracle work right here. Is it is. Right now, red team is uh, at a bit of a deficit, but not something that's accountable. Corin, at 95% right now off the stage, not yeah. looking too. Well, he didn't have the opportunity to punish them. Now, yeah, a little bit good. about Corin though. In teams, it is very, very good to be used looking for that counter. As her counter is arguably, oh my God, and, and that was a is almost it. He took 50% off of that. Just in teams, with your partner able to back. Now, I think. Oh, we go see it! And... Oh no, was not able to get the last part, but almost killing Yoshi off the top. Oh, that move that, uh, Corrin oh, did, upwards. where she places the sword into the ground. Can you tell me a little bit more of that move? Like now, that is actually her side B, and what that does is, when you click side B again, she lances her grab, her... She puts, she stabs her lance into the ground, and is able to sit there for a little bit, and she's able to do three options, either dash attack forward, dash attack back, or just jump. Okay. Now... Oh, we <laughs> say just demonstrating it for us right there. <laughs> now that is actually a really powerful kill option, as well as the lance. It would just if you taper that lance. Would, oh, that's whispered. Romalia and Black Yoshi. These guys are playing so insane right now. I mean, so have, they, have, they, have they just been running through the tournament just like this? this yeah, like I mean, I don't think they've even dropped hardly any games. A couple to dare, but they're about to. At, the, at this rate, they're about to 3 0 with the meanest handshake, the fastest handshake there is. <laughs> oh, now, Bayonetta, a character who has a lot. Oh, an upper is going to be. Damn. Seals the deal. Game Conv two. Convincing win from Going Bob. to, uh, what is that, Black Yoshi and Zork? <coughs> okay, that's, uh, those are some interesting names. Are, have they been partners before? Have they been here before? Have they been here before? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the uh, the character, here? like the, the player history? Like, how often yeah. did, did they come up to you? Uh... Promalia and Black Yoshi, two very powerful players, especially what I have my eye on is Promalia. Okay. He may not have been having, like, as much flash, so to speak, as Bayonetta is just tearing up the screen right now with yeah. all of her moves, but Promalia might be one of the most powerful players on the screen right now. He is extremely proficient with this character. Originally, actually a Palutena main, but at this rate, it looks like he doesn't have to bring it out. Oh, Squirk looking for a little revenge on his own. He's going to bring out his own Corrin. <laughs> Hopefully he can show us a little bit of something. But yeah, Pramali is a very patient and well-punishing player. He knows when, how to get his openings and what to do in his night openings. He converts very well. As you can see right there, team call moves very, extremely proficiently with Black Yoshi. The communication between these two players. And you see right there, he just extends the combo by throwing him back into the hitbox. Oh, we're seeing another witch time up to up to back air. 30% damage. Oh, looking for the down air. That was so, so greedy on his part. <laughs> <laughs> he had no respect right now. <laughs> this is honestly just like, it's beautiful to watch. The fact that they're using these characters that they barely know anything yeah. about. They have We're about to see the first time. <laughs> the first anvil of these new characters released will be taken. The doubles by a corn and a bayonetta. Yeah, I think that's something to say about these characters. Exactly. Yeah. Or cool. about the fact that people need to adapt a little bit. Quicker. Now, but Let's not get into that. Let's get back to the match yeah. real quick. Talking about a little bit more about Corrin, 
unlike traditional Fire Emblem characters, she actually has a tipper hitbox on her dragon moves. Her moves that extend to dragon hitboxes will actually have a tipper on the end, similar to Mark's mechanic. And these will pack quite a And we find Red Team actually in the lead for once. Wow. Both teams. Oh, but this is extremely dangerous for Blue Team as Brian is off to go with Lucario, and we all know Lucario with the Rage is something not to be underestimated. Oh, he's going to lose the first stock to the side B. Gets snuffed. Takes that stock real quick before he can do too much damage. Yeah. Right really? now, Red leading a slight lead. Oh, but just like that, the game is one up air, even again. Bring, yeah, I'll be bringing it back. Oh, wow. Forward tilt. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. Was that a forward tilt? Four there into Uffy. There was a button. There was a button, <laughs> button after that. Double up to it into Uff Smash. What is this character? Sakurai, please. <laughs> He's not going to be able to read it Does back. Does not, not have a drum. One Did of the downsides to being a healthy amount of damage, though. All right, and Red Team finds the themselves in the lead yet again. As long as they have to maintain, they have to play safely here. Bayonetta is going to be looking for more witch timing opportunities. And leave it to Black Yoshi as he's been fighting so many of them. He said, almost got his shield broken. He's got to watch out. Bandana's uh, 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 smash attack so large and so damaging. Fortunately for her, a little bit of end lag on him, but I think that's a worthy trade-off for them. Oh, <laughs> gets the lance into the ground. A rather awkward position. Right. I mean, you did say that it has a little bit of uh, a little bit of lag after the end of the smash attack, but at the same time, oh, well and that counter, I'm not going to be seen, almost. I've only seen Black Yoshi do it well spaced, so it seems like that <laughs> landing lag. It's worth all the benefits that he gets from the move. Mm. Yeah. Definitely a very rewarding match. That kill is extremely early for the character. Now, the thing about Bayonetta, she's not a character that has way too many kill setups. She has perhaps down to up air for killing. But other than that, she has no grab follow-ups, actually. Really? At high percent for killing, no, she does not. Okay. It's one of the benefits of why I don't see her as far too much of a broken character. But she has her own oh, Pramalia, uh, that down B. Great counter, it's going to end out for in second stock. Oh, Brian was looking for the up air, not able to get it. Now, despite their great start in the beginning, red team is going to be, oh, that's maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, you, both you, can never, you can never count anybody this out. This is definitely not. If they're able to take up both these stocks, it'll be a two versus one situation. Exactly. And Brian is working on not two players. I want to be playing two versus one against, as demonstrated from last set, again, when Flop signed there. But, Look at that. Horns down, right. all they need to do is pick up Bayonetta. If they can take up this Bayonetta, they have the lead. If they take up this Bayonetta, it is perhaps going to game four to speed. Oh, but Brian takes that stock. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That's very detrimental. We might just be looking at the last game for Molly and. For Molly Black Yoshi, this might just be game power for them. See, Brian. We'll see and that is going to be. Wow! Brian doesn't get clutch. An amazing mix he of gets four the there, fist canceled right in the up smash. Now that's something very odd that Bayonetta actually has. She is one of the only players who's able to cancel forward air into her multiple hit moves. As she can do hit oh. one, to hit two, or hit three, and cancel either one of them. I haven't even noticed that. Yeah, now, something really unique about it is she can actually do first hit of forward air and fast fall into the second hit. Really? Yeah. Really unique character, and wow, just a dominating set from Pramali and, and Black Gears just to easily take grand finals. I mean, that's some crazy stuff. Quick Brian and Squirt played amazingly, but. I guess they just not too, perhaps it was just they weren't too keen on the matchup. Maybe, maybe it's just character knowledge, maybe. I mean, sometimes you come in here and you're just not feeling it. And yeah. other times, I mean, some people just show up and they're they're ready to play. You know, yeah. maybe that's just and what Pramali it was. And and Black Yoshi, they brought their A game They today. have been clean from what I've seen. Yeah. That was my first match that I've seen with them. I did not see them. I, I saw no hiccups, no mistakes. They yeah. played clean the entire game. Very crispy gameplay from both players. Now... <coughs> All right, so I believe we'll be starting getting singles on the stream. Singles on the stream? Okay. That's not, uh, that wasn't the end of uh, doubles, was it, though? That was the end of doubles. That was that grand was, finals. That was grand finals? That was grand finals. Man, that was like the saddest handshake. I didn't see any hugs. <laughs> I didn't see any brotherly yeah. love. I didn't see anything. Brian and Squirt had to be disappointed about that. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. But all in all, like, this is all about just bringing the scene together. Man. Okay. 